G'day guys and girls, Billy here. We're just driving down a gravel road guys and I just come across this bobtail and it's got a tick on it. See, I've always uh, wondered guys, can you see that tick right there? It's like a cattle tick. There's only a young bobtail. So I'm just going to remove the tick guys. So it's easy, it's an easy tick to remove. I've... So there it is, just there. So I've noticed with bobtails, they usually have either two different types of ticks on them. A, uh, a little tiny brown tick, and this is like a cattle tick. And I suppose they're there for a reason, guys. I mean, you know, if I... It, Probably wouldn't do any harm if I left this tick on the bobtail. It's only a young bobtail, but uh, we might as well remove it. It's an easy tick to remove, so just basically pull it out. And there you are. So that's what the tick looks like, guys. Basically, just a little cattle tick type thing. And. Uh, you know, should you remove ticks from bobtails? I've often questioned that myself. So, whenever you come across bobtails in the wild, you always come across ticks on them. I suppose they're there for some certain reason. Anyway, guys, we'll let this beautiful little young bobtail go. And, uh, yeah, just a, another little bobtail. What hopefully one day won't get run over on the roads because, you know, I come across. You know, you see thousands of these bobtails killed on the roads all around my area. Oh, look at this, guys. Look at this. A beautiful um, little... Is it a dragon? Yeah, gecko. Look at this, guys. This is a nice thing to see. I forget a dragon, buddy. Absolutely beautiful. You see a lot of these on the road too. You don't see too many of them squash, but they'll sit on the road and uh, and uh, stumbake on the road. It's actually, I think it's a bearded dragon. A bearded dragon. I've done a pretty amazing video on one of these before. I'll put the link below uh, using a Nikon Coolpix video camera. I'm a bit all over the place today, guys, mumbling and stumbling. But anyway, what a beautiful find. And that bobtail's underneath the uh, bush right there. But, yep, that's a... And I'll show you something else. What's beautiful too, guys, is beautiful sandalwood tree. So this tree here, I collected a heap of nuts off uh, last year and planted them. And I had a success rate of around 25%. So the, this uh, sandalwood tree's already produced last year's crop. So it's got no nuts on it at the moment. But sometimes if you look around you'll uh, come across the nuts on the ground and also little sandalwood trees that are germinating. So here's a beautiful little sandalwood tree there what's well, germinating. There's another one, another one right there. Another one there. Another one there, guys. So yeah, if you look underneath the trees, you'll come across... Um, the nuts and sometimes if you're lucky the little sandalwood trees were germinating from from nuts underneath the soil there's a nut there but it's not very old sorry it's uh very old we'll have a look around see if we can find a nice nut Here's a nice one right here. That's a beautiful nut there. And they're edible as well. You just sort of crack them open and eat the actual nut on the inside of the shell. 
But anyway guys, I've done plenty of videos on the sandalwood tree. I'll put the links below. And such a beautiful, majestic, uh, ancient tree. Very, very slow growing. This tree probably would be one or two hundred years old. And there's uh, more in this bush area. Only a few more. But there's an absolutely beautiful, majestic one. Just down the uh, fence line. What I've also collected nuts from before. Alright guys, well... Just a bobtail, the bearded dragon, and the sandalwood tree. And uh, we'll take off. We'll see if this, uh, there it is, still there. Will you let me pick him up? There he goes. He's gone. And don't forget guys, also a lot of these reptiles are also smuggled overseas um, in, up in pet shops all around the world. The bobtail lizard is one of Australia's most smuggled reptiles and so is the bearded dragon as well. So I've done plenty of videos on bobtail smuggling. Alright, thanks for watching everyone. And uh, we'll chat soon. It's a pretty friendly bearded dragon, this one. See you guys.